I wanted to be a teacher. Um, I, I don't know why I wanted to be a teacher. I just remember I always wanted to be a teacher when I was younger. Yeah. I could not see myself doing that now. Um, well, as I said, I'm the Deputy Warden Admin at Arendelle. Um, I'm not sure I would consider any day normal because <laughs> it never goes the way that um, I think it's going to go. Mm -hmm. But I typically um, I, I just start my day off hoping there's peace and quiet for a few hours so I can catch up on a few things, answer emails, um, catch up on whatever hit my desk that I couldn't get the day before. Um, and then, of course, we have our morning meetings mm -hmm. every morning with the warden. Then we have inspection every day. That's very unpredictable. Sometimes we have to break for lunch and go back. Sometimes it's done in the morning. Um, if it is done in the morning, I get to do some office work. If it's not, that waits till the next day. And then um, hopefully I get to leave at a decent hour. Probably that it is never normal. Um, because there's any given day, it can be any given situation. Mm -hmm. um, with my current position, um, I interact more with inmates now again with some of my responsibilities because of being a duty officer. So now it's even opened up with not just the administrative stuff I've been doing for the last four or five years. Now I'm back on the other side of the house again, kind of where I started almost 20 years ago. So now it's not just um, the paying the bills and the paperwork and things that I've been doing for the past few years. I'm touching in a little bit of every area I've always I've worked in to work my way up. Yeah. So it could be anything any given day. You have an awesome husband. <laughs> um, my family is wonderful because I, I won't lie and say that I get to leave on time every day and go home and cook dinner and be normal. <laughs> um, my family is great. They understand. Um, I mean, so it's not always perfect. They understand when work sometimes have to come first. Um, but I've tried to focus really hard on scaling back um, now that I've settled in my position a little bit more. Um, so, I mean, they, they understand there's times when I have to be gone and I understand when there's times when I have to get away. that you cannot be a leader unless you can be led. Um, I have always tried my best to um, look at what others around me are doing and then decide, you know, for myself, is that something I want to do or right to do or wrong to do. Um, I like to listen and pay attention and just go from there. But I definitely think being able to be led is a huge quality of a leader. For years I didn't have that motivation. Um, like I said, I did several jobs. Um, after the security job and after the operation, or during the operation to analyst job, mm -hmm. um, I left to go to the instructional systems unit and I taught all the computer classes. And I'll be honest with you, I was really defeated. That's around the time when um, a lot of prisons were closing. Mm -hmm. Well, the unit I was working with got caught up in that and closed. So I had to go back into the prison. I was a little crushed mm -hmm. um, and it was hard for me a little bit to just get motivated again. Um, so during that time and when I was getting settled again the next few years, I saw a lot of younger people mm -hmm. um, come behind me and go right by me. So I'm like, I can't so I started thinking, what area in this prison have I not touched that I can do something with and do something better with? So the only other area that I had not been in in the prison, uh, I was in care and treatment at the time because operations analyst technician works closely with programming. Okay. Um, so I didn't feel like I could progress anywhere in that area. Um, I didn't have the personal interest in that. So the only other area in the prison that I had not touched was admin. Um, I like numbers. I like working with books and on the computer and stuff like that. So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go over there. So there was a position opened. I got the position. And then I worked my way through the TC side of admin, the business office side of admin, and 
just from then on, it was my ambition. I got in there, I wanted to be the business manager, I met that, I wanted to be deputy warden admin, and that's where I'm at now. Friends and family, um, really. Um, there are a lot of challenges with corrections, and I firmly believe if you don't have someone to talk through some of those challenges with, then it can be very frustrating. So, um, again, my wonderful husband, <laughs> um, he's also been in corrections for quite some time. Um, he's on DCS side now, but um, he, he understands. He understands a lot. Um, I also have friends that I've worked with for a long time in corrections. Um, and family so you just have to have a your close-knit yeah. not necessarily to talk about things that go on at work because that's not what we're supposed to do and we yeah. don't do that but um, you have to have an outlet I hate to say it I don't have one person mm -hmm. that has inspired me I feel like I have little bits and pieces of quite a few people um, Really, the, my business manager now, um, who was my business manager before I became business manager at a different institution, I've known her for years and years and years, and she really encouraged me to step up and learn all that I could learn to be able to move up in these roles. And she's someone that it will always tell me the truth and always let me know what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right or what I could do better. Um, and she's got a heart of gold. She sees the good in everybody. So that's an aspect of her that uh, really inspires me. And I try to model that because sometimes it's hard to see the best in everybody. Um, and then really other coworkers I've worked with along the way, there's just a little touch of something in everyone that I try to see and model after that. But just not one person though. Oh, don't let anybody tell them they can't do it. Um, there's a, there's a lot, again, oh, there's a lot of challenges like we talked about before. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people that um, maybe think they're going in one place and might go in another. They may think they have their mindset on one thing. Um, I'm a prime example of that. I never expected to be on the business office side of things. I never expected to, expected to be the instructor that I was many years ago. That's not something that I had on my radar at all. Mm -hmm. But be prepared for the opportunities that might be presented to you. Don't just be prepared for something that you think you want to do. Be prepared for any opportunity that might come along. Corrections in general, I think the whole attitude towards reentry, mm -hmm. um, because it has evolved to the point where there's so many programs, there's so many options and training and groups and counseling that are available to inmates now to set them up for such success. Yeah. Um, and I think every area of the prison plays a little role in that, but it's so much bigger than it used to be when I first started. Like I said before, I mm -hmm. think you need to be able to follow before you can lead. Um, you need to be able to listen. You need to be able to admit when you make a mistake. Um, that's, that's my top ones right there, but um, I think every day I figure out a new, le a new trait that's necessary to be a leader. I think it's hard to be a leader, um, but I think um, if you learn from what you've done, learn from your mistakes, learn from the people that went before you, mm -hmm. I think that's a really, really good start. Um, mentoring in terms of, no one's asked me to be a mentor, mm -hmm. mentor but um, I do have a few ladies in my office that um, I'm really trying to hit on the succession planning that they uh, keep beating into us, you know, um, because my business manager is going to be retiring. So I've kind of really taken two of them under my wing and tried to make sure they know everything there is to know about our area and what we do. Um, because I really do see both of them with potential to maybe step into the business manager position 